astronomer Arsi Kapoor is now joining us. Thank you so much for your time. Talk to us a little about the significance of uh, this very picture, this very visual, beautiful as it is, uh, with uh, and clear too, very very clear of the exact moment when Pragya leaves the Vic uh, the lander Vikram there, which was attached to its belly, and the kind of work that it already is doing, sir. Yes, it's the most beautiful uh, visual you have presented here. And I think the cutest vehicle of India, the rover is, uh, is uh, coming down the ramp. And I think our automobile industry can take a cue here. I think uh, it's the most wonderful video. You can see the marks it is making as it is moving uh, further. So uh, I'll, as I hear, ISRO has activated uh, all the instruments on lander as well as on the uh, uh, rover. So they are going to uh, make a study of the moon uh, as long as the sun is up there in the sky of the moon. So it's about the surface composition, it's about the, the interior of the moon, and of course the very, very thin atmosphere which we call exosphere on the moon, which is of charged particles and whatever radiations that come and fall on the uh, moon's surface. And uh, they eject the electrons and you have uh, some ionized matter uh, floating around. Hmm. So that is to be studied. So uh, this, uh, as long as the sun is up there, uh, these two uh, laboratories are going to uh, collect data and transmit uh, eventually to uh, SO base stations in uh, Bangalore and elsewhere. And uh, uh, lander and rover, they have a communication between them. Lander is communicating to uh, uh, Orbiter 2 and from Orbiter 2, all the data, all the images will be transmitted to uh, uh, stations in Bangalore. What's most fascinating really is seen. this, yes, you know, I'm just stunned because these images are just so beautiful and so clear. It's, it's, uh, it's surreal, isn't it? Uh, so what do you think of it? I mean, the clarity, uh, unimaginable, these pictures, uh, it's, it's hard to believe that this is the moon that we're talking about. Oh, certainly, yes, because mm. you see, it's all very grey, mm. and uh, you are seeing the coloured images. So, and uh, moon surface is like that; its reflectivity is much lower compared to the Earth, and uh, it's, you can call it very, very uh, sort of greyish moon. And you, you see the uh, solar panel also; it's up there mm. uh, in the uh, in, in the rover. Yes, you can so see that. And you can see the long shadows because mm. the sun inclination is very low at the time when landing took. Sun's inclination was about nine degrees or so at the site uh, of the landing. So uh, you can see how long are those images and uh, mm -hmm. and uh, the sh uh, shadows and mm -hmm. uh, and it, uh, side, uh, the sun's rays are falling and. Uh, everything goes very well. Okay, just and explain to me. Is this, you are saying that, uh, you are saying that the shadows are on, on our screens, but what time would this be approximately? Yeah. See, uh, I calculated that uh, one meter will, uh, a, a rod which is one meter tall will give about seven meters long shadow. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, by now, uh, the sun is still higher up. It takes about six hours for the sun to move one degree in the sky mm -hmm. at that latitude. Mm. So you can imagine. Um, and also, of course, Earth is there in the sky. Uh, right now, we are not able to see, but sometime I think uh, ISRO will uh, uh, release those images also uh, with, where the lander is seeing the Earth. And uh, that will be most wonderful because uh, at the time landing took place, uh, Moon seen from Earth was in the first quarter. Earth seen from Moon will be in the last quarter. So mm -hmm. that is the, uh, that's how it is. Yes. You know, also, uh, I, I just want to get a sense from you about the very fact that uh, how these are designed, essentially the lander and the rover are designed in such a way to operate for one lunar day, which is about 14 Earth days. ISRO will not be, in fact, uh, getting having any contact uh, with the, the rover at the time uh, when the sun is down. Talk to us about how, though, rover and lander will continue to function even during this time. Actually, uh, uh, ISRO is sure of uh, the functionality of the uh, instruments as long as the sun is up there. Then, 14 and a half days of uh, uh, the night uh, on the moon. 
and uh, that i think begins on 4th september and then next uh, sunrise is uh, 21st september or so after the sunrise as the sun goes a little high up and uh, uh, so is hoping that some instruments might work but extremes of temperature so um, after uh, whether uh, the instruments uh, will stand that and then are uh, and come back to life that is a, a question that by itself will be a, a major test of um, that uh, during the sunlit days and our, and in the unlit days after that what happens to the equipment although all the equipment is insulated uh, with using mli as they say uh, multi layer uh, insulators so we hope that uh, some instruments might work uh, rover has two uh, instruments they are spectroscopes and independently they take uh, uh, the uh, they study the composition of this uh, lunar soil uh, one uses uh, laser the other uses a, a radioactive material qm244 and uh, then eventually the results have to uh, be quite similar okay so and uh, lander also uh, has uh, four instruments and it also has uh, nasa's uh, lra which is uh, laser uh, retro reflectors array it will stay and it's a passive equipment and it will stay even uh, uh, after the night and uh, uh, on the and the day also comes mm-hmm. uh, even if the instruments don't work in uh, lander or in rover uh, it's still there because uh, so what NASA i what i want to know fire, from you is that essentially both vikram and pragyan have 14 days or so to do that the work that is expected of them in terms of gathering the information and send this back to earth but this is a deadline that has to be met uh, and that is something that isro would be looking at very closely isn't it yes that's right because uh, and actually uh, this lander is being uh, uh, is being tracked by many space agencies and then uh, they are receiving signals so independently they are doing that uh that's right because it is in constant uh, touch with the lander and uh, and we hope that uh, data starts flowing and if, as indian astronomers and scientists will be able to uh, make sense out of it okay well that's the hope fingers crossed things have been okay and things should move fine i'm going to thank you so much for sharing your views with us so vikram and pragyan are having just about 14 days or so it's actually just 14 days before night falls on the moon and that's when the work uh, can't be done and in terms of the information that's going to be sent back to isro to earth and these uh, are the days that both uh, the vikram and uh, pragyan the lander and the rover have to do to gather this information after this the rover may not be fully functional as there is no solar power and we know that this is solar power that they are getting their energy essentially from